guys this is Kenya welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner so today I am co-hosting the slow cooker collaboration with Miss V of Miss V's channel so we in this collaboration ask all the participants to share with us a recipe that they like to prepare using the slow cooker um, a crock pot an instant pot a pressure cooker or whatever device that you might like to use and also we will have our recipes listed in the description box down below so that you guys can take advantage of that if you're interested in those recipes now today I'm going to be preparing um, barbecue pork sliders and also a dessert called ministers delight <laughs> and so if you're interested in seeing how I prepare these dishes then keep watching but also let me remind you to be sure to go over to Ms. V's channel to check out her video and I will have a link to her channel down below in my description box and the playlist of all the other participants in this challenge alrighty guys so let's get cooking so these are the ingredients that you will need for the pork sliders so of course we have our um, this is a six pound you can do a five or six pound pork shoulder butt roast so I have that one here I have a bowl with a spoon because we're going to mix all of our ingredients together to make our rub and so here we have you will need and I will list the recipe down in the description box below um, but you will need two tablespoons of brown sugar one teaspoon of paprika have the paprika there You'll need um, a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And you can kind of season to taste as it relates to the black pepper. Um, you'll season to taste with the, I use Mediterranean sea salt. So you can use a, a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Um, oopsies. You can use a, a half onion. So I don't have a whole onion. So I'm just going to use some chopped frozen onions that I have already um, then you will use one teaspoon of garlic I have the garlic powder here garlic powder then we will have a half a cup of apple cider vinegar or just cider vinegar I have this one already so that's what I'll be using let's put the onions there um, you will use one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and so have that one and let's see here you'll have I didn't bring my sugar so you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar you'll use one tablespoon of mustard you can use mustard powder but I don't have any of that so I'm just gonna use regular mustard and then um, the cayenne pepper is optional you can use one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm probably going to just put like a half a teaspoon because I don't want to make it too hot so my toddler will eat it. So yeah, I have a half a teaspoon of that. And then I'm going to use my chuparaca rub for the meat. Alrighty, so I'm going to mix all this together and I'll be right back. And I'm also going to prepare my meat. Go ahead and get it rinsed off and ready. So I'll be right back. So here's my rub um, with all the dry ingredients mixed together and I've also mixed together the liquid ingredients in a separate bowl and I used a whisk just to whisk it all together um, as you can see that there so those are the wet ingredients and so now I'm going to go ahead and use my rub to cover my meat and then we'll be ready to put it into the pressure cooker So as you can see, my roast is completely covered in the rub all around, even on the sides. I've covered the sides the, and the back sides. Just every portion of the meat is covered with the rub. And so now I'm going to put it in my pressure cooker. One thing I did want to mention also, guys, is that for my liquid, which is what I'll be adding to the pressure cooker, for the liquid, I did also add in one 
teaspoon of minced garlic. You guys know I love garlic and so of course I had to add some in there. So I have one teaspoon of garlic in this mixture. Alrighty, so let's put this roast in the pressure cooker. So we have our roast in the pressure cooker and now I'm going to just add in some onions just along the sides here. Okay, so now that I have my onions in there, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my liquid ingredients. And now we will set the pressure cooker for 90 minutes. So let me get my lid on. Okay, so let's set our, I have my meat in, I have my pressure cooker lid on, so we're going to go ahead and set it, and we're going to choose for our cook time, 90 minutes. So after I set this, guys, then I'll be back. So our pressure cooker is going back here. You can see it's um, at one hour and 25 minutes now, right back here. And so we are going to go ahead and start our dessert. And for this, we have one can of cherry pie filling. So it's a 21 ounce can. I have one package of yellow cake mix and I'm using Betty Crocker. You can use whatever brand you want. So one box of cake mix yellow cake mix and then I have a half of cup of melted butter and this is optional but I have about a one-third cup of chopped walnuts as you can see that there so let's put this all together so I'm going to pour in the cake batter into my bowl and I'm gonna mix it with the melted butter the cake mix and then I'm going to just mix in my melted butter and I'm going to mix this all up until it becomes like a crumble So as you can see, my cake batter is all crumbly now. I've been mixing it for about five minutes or so, just kind of stirring it all around and chopping some of the bigger pieces into smaller pieces, just like so. And now this is ready. So we are going to go ahead and pour our pie filling into the slow cooker. So let's move this to the side here. I have, so I'm using my slow cooker for the dessert and I'm using the pressure cooker for my entree. So I'll pour in my pie filling. And something told me to get two cans of pie filling as opposed to one, but I didn't want to make too much dessert because it's not like we really even need it. <laughs> But um, I hope this is going to be enough to at least cover the bottom of my slow cooker. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Just kind of spreading everything around in here. Okay. So now that we have that in here, we have just like a thin this layer 
of cherry pie filling on the bottom of the slow cooker. I'm just making sure everything is covered. The entire bottom of my slow cooker is covered with some filling. Okay, so now that's all covered. Everything's all spread out here. Now I will add the crumble on top. I want to get all the parts covered with the crumble. I'm going to use my hand for the rest of it so I can get all the corners there. Okay, this is going to be perfect. I will be honest, guys. I've had this dessert before, but I've never made it myself. So this is my first time trying this recipe out. And I think it's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to make sure that the crumble is covered, covering all of the filling. It's not too much, you know, on one little section. So it's a, I want a pretty even layer. Okay, now that's done. I will add our walnuts on top. And you can chop your walnuts up more coarsely if you like. I chose to just leave them like just... Um, I mean, more finely, I chose to keep them coarsely chopped. And you can also add brown sugar and cinnamon on top if you like as well. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so there we go. Now we will cook this on low, on low heat for two hours. And so I'm going to get this going. And then I'll be back in about an hour. Okay, so you can see I have our dessert going over here in our sliders, our roast beef going on over here in the pressure cooker. So I have an hour left, an hour and four minutes left on the pressure cooker. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, so our slow cooker is still going, but the pressure cooker is finished and so I'm just taking the lid off here and let's see our pork roast looks yummy that's the bone in there so everything looks really good so now what I'm going to do is take this out of the pressure cooker and place it in um, another dish so that I can pull it all apart so I'll be right back okay so now that I have the roast in a another container here I'm going to go ahead and remove this bone and start pulling it off separating it with the fork well that's pretty hot <laughs> guess I should just use the forks here okay there Okay, so now we're just going to pull the pork all to pieces. And as you can see, it's super tender, it just pulls apart easily. So as you can see, it's going to take me a few minutes because I'm also going to pick out, like this is fat, I'm going to pick out some of the fat 
so that we don't have too much of that in there. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so you can see I have the pork all pulled apart. And actually, I didn't even use all of it because it was so much. And this is basically full, this, this entire tray here. And so I have, I cut the rest of it up into a few pieces and I'm gonna put this in the freezer for another time. And so now next what I'll do is I've also skimmed off the fat from the liquid in the pressure cooker. So I got the majority of the fat off of there. And so now what I'm gonna do is add in one cup of barbecue sauce. And this is, this barbecue sauce is the um, sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. I really like this one. And so that's what I'm gonna just add to my sauce that's already there. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour my sauce in there and mix it all up really good. And after I mix this up, I will see if I want to add any more barbecue sauce or not, because I, I don't want it to be too thin. I want it to be more like a sauce as opposed to just a liquid. So I think I'm gonna add some more. It is thickening up a little bit, but I'm gonna add some more barbecue sauce. So I have another cup that I'm pouring in. Oh yeah, that's it's getting thicker now. That's how I want it because once I get this sauce to the right consistency, then I'm going to add back in my shredded beef. Excuse me, not beef, <laughs> my pork. I'm going to add it back into this sauce because this will be the it so it can soak up this sauce. So it's still a little runny, but it might be okay. Let me taste it. If I can get a little bit out, yeah. Mmm, that's good. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my pork back in to the sauce. Oh man, I hope you guys can see how good that is going to taste. Almost done. And once I put this all in here, I'll let it kind of just soak in there for a few minutes um, before I start to plate. So I'll let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll be ready to plate. But as you can see, it really, it was just the perfect amount of sauce. Okay, so I will be back in just a few minutes. 
Okay, it looks like our dessert is ready. It's nice and golden. And yeah, it looks delicious. I cannot wait to give it a try. So everything is ready. So now we will start plating. Okay guys, and here is our final meal, our pork slot, barbecue pork sliders with a side of carrots and pickles, which you can decide if you wanna garnish your sandwich with that or not. Drizzled with a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. And for dessert, we have our, um, I did read online, I said it's also called dump cake, but um, it's also called minister's delight. And so it's basically like a cherry, pie and so it guys this is so delicious so I had to restrain myself um, as I was plating of course you know I tasted it and I was like oh my goodness this is so good and so I had a few bites and I thought let me slow down and go ahead and plate but it is so scrumptious this dessert yummy and the pork is so tender and just delicious. So yeah, that's my plate for today. And this was a lot of fun making this dish. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe, which I will have it linked in the description box down below. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. This was so much fun. I'm co-hosting this collaboration with Miss V. And this is a reminder to please be sure to go over to Miss V's channel to check out her video and also check out the playlist of all of our participants. So guys, let me know what you think about the uh, meal that I made today. Leave your comments down below. I'll look forward to seeing them. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.